Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, I'm Lindsay and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be quite a bit different than my usual videos. This is going to be a comic book collection video and I'm really excited to share this with you guys. I am a huge geek, so if you guys didn't know that, I do collect comic books. I don't know how many hundreds of comic books I have, I haven't actually counted them, but if you have heard of the series Teen Titans, I have so many Teen Titans comic books. I'm trying to like complete my collection right now, just kind of finding ones that I don't have. I do also have other DC comic books and a few Marvel as well, so it's not just Teen Titans, but a lot of it is. And I do have some collector stuff and just a lot of stuff to show you guys. So before I do get into this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you don't already subscribe to my channel. And hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Check out my social media in the description box down below. I have my Instagram and my Twitter and I do have all of my cosplay stuff and more geeky nerdy stuff on my Instagram so definitely go check me out on there if you want to see more of my nerdy side and let's get right into this comic book collection video. Okay so for those of you that don't collect comics this is how you store comic books in these long boxes and I'm going to start off with the left box over here. This is where I keep all of my Teen Titans comic books. So let me open this for you. I'm sorry it's kind of dark. My beauty lights are up there so it's kind of hard to see. But I hope you guys can kind of get the gist of it. So comic books are, if you don't know, kept in these little covers. They're called backs and boards. So the shiny part you see is just the plastic wrap on the outside and then the white part on the back is a little piece of cardboard uh, or thick paper or whatever that keeps the comic book from getting wrinkled and messed up. So that is what that is for. So I have the index right here. So for Teen Titans, this is a lot of the characters, and this is a, I think, five-part series. Yeah, five-part series, and I have them, all five of them, in this bag right here. So I just keep that with the index tab here. And if you don't know already, comics, um, just like a lot of things, are organized one through whatever, like one through a hundred, or however many there are in that series. So I have them all organized in order of the number, and then obviously of what series it is. So this is the new Teen Titans series here. I don't know exactly how many I have, but it's quite a bit here. And then it goes to the new Teen Titans. There, There's just too many for me to go through for, <laughs> for all of you guys, but um, it would just take too long to go through every single one. But yeah, that is the new Teen Titans series, and just so you know, the tabs are for the ones that are in front of that tab. So everything in front of here is the New Teen Titans series. And then I have um, this other series. It's also called the New Teen Titans, but it's a different series. And I have that there. I'm sure you'll recognize some of the characters from the TV show if you saw that as a kid. That's where I got my love from Teen Titans from was the cartoon on, I think, Cartoon Network. In the very back, I have the Titans series. I haven't read most of these comics yet. I just don't have time. But yeah, and then I have Teen Titans in the back over here. So that is the first box of comics that I have. Here is the second box. I have duplicates right here. So this is all duplicates of ones that I already have that are in the correct um, series with the correct series already so these are just duplicates that I can trade or sell that I need to get rid of so those are just extras pretty much and then I have Teen Titans annuals so those are here I have looks like I only have two of those and then I have Titans annuals so those are annuals of the Titan series and then I have other DC comic books that aren't Titans so I have quite a few. I have some Batman, some older Batman, Superman, World's Finest. Oh, just a bunch of random stuff pretty much that I have picked up throughout the years. I have Titans Related, so let me zoom you guys in really quick. Titans Related is stuff that I maybe don't have 
the whole series of and I don't really know what to do with them but they're Teen Titans related <laughs> so those are here and I have like some Robin comics that I put in there since he's in the Titans group. I have Deathstroke comics. I know I have some Trigon ones in here. Cyborg, Starfire. I put my Starfire series in here because I didn't want to make a whole tab for it since I don't have that many. Uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws is in here. I have those in order. There's a lot of those, actually. I probably should do a whole tab for that. Um, yeah. Just some random... I even have some Teen Titans Go, even though I don't watch that series. But And then, yeah, just some random ones. Stuff that maybe I just don't have the series or whatever. Stuff I don't know what to do with that's Teen Titans related. And then I have Titan Spotlight. So the Titan Spotlight is a comic about one certain character. Um, so I have those here. I've got Catwoman, Nightwing, Jericho, Cyborg. A whole bunch of fun stuff in there. Outsiders. I actually don't know anything about that series. I got those with a comic book. I bought one of these boxes from a collector and th that series was in there. So these are Outsiders comics, but a lot of those characters in there seem to be Teen Titans characters as well, so that's really cool. And then I have Teen Titans, which is the newer series. I have some graphic novels in here. If you guys don't know what graphic, graphic novels are, they're kind of like books, but comic book books? <laughs> comic book books? So it's like a full series, a full like storyline in one thick comic book instead of each comic, if that makes sense. I don't know. I'm bad at explaining things, but yeah, I have a few of the graphic novels that are of the like 2007 series and uh, around that era. So in the very back I have the new 52 Teen Titans series. I don't have a lot of those either, but that is back there. And then in this awesome Venom box, I have my non-Teen Titans, non-DC comics. And I don't have a lot of these, so bear with me if you're not a DC fan. But I have some of the Marvel Marvel vs. DC comics, which is really cool that they even did that series. I'm surprised that they did. And then I have some Marvel comics. I have Vampirella, Spider-Man, Iron Man, uh, X-Men. Just some random ones, pretty much. Indiana Jones, and then I have other comics which are um, other brands of comics, so some, you know, Archie and Hellboy and Fathom, which is a uh, different, uh, I think that's Aspen Comics, so some random stuff in there, Smurfs. Up here I have some graphic novels and just some random stuff. Everything's random. <laughs> um, I have a Justice League of America, which has some Teen Titans characters in that. That's why I bought that graphic novel, and that is a hard, hardcover one. I've got The Killing Joke. This is a really good comic if you're not into comic books. I feel like this is a good one to start out with if you like Joker and Batman. I have the new Teen Titans games. I haven't really gotten into this one very much, so yeah. This is a pretty rare comic. I think this is worth like $100 or something like that, but it's huge. It's So it's a regular comic book, but it's like giant. <laughs> and yeah, this is a pretty old comic, but um, yeah. Legion of Superheroes and Superboy. This is DC Comic Cover Girls. So this is like, uh, you know, it's all the women pretty much. Just kind of, it's not an actual like comic book. It's just... Pretty much about some of the covers and, you know, just about comics, pretty much. And then this is the DC Comics Encyclopedia. And this is really big. It's a pretty thick book heavy. And I have all of my favorite characters, like, labeled on here. But this has every single character that you could pretty much think of in the DC Universe. And it has, like, their origins and their first appearance, their weight, which is really weird, their height, like, everything you could think of. And so it's, it's really cool. And it's, if you guys see this in the library or something, definitely take a look at it and check out your favorite character. I think this is such a fun thing to have. I think I paid, like, $50 for this, but it was so worth it. I love being able to look at my favorite characters and see their details and all that. So this is a pretty cool thing to have, I think. This is my favorite comic book. It is signed by one of my favorite artists, George Perez. And this is a uh, this is a first um, 
appearance of Starfire, Raven, and Cyborg, which is really, really cool. And this is all, like, in hard casing because it's, you know, it's a, it's a collector's item. So, yeah, I have that, and it's pretty cool. It's worth quite a bit of money, so that is my favorite one. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing my comic book collection. I will try and update you guys on when I get new stuff if you are interested in that. Or I'll do one of these later on when I have the series completed and all of the comics that I am kind of set and good for a little bit. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that thumbs up button. It helps me out a ton. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you a part of my channel. And do check out my social media, such as my Twitter and my Instagram, in the description box down below. And if you enjoy more nerdy videos, let me know. If you want to see more geeky stuff from me, let me know in the comments. I don't know unless you tell me that you guys want to see more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!